Hello Libras, this card fell out, the Hermit. I'm going to use that as your crowning energy. And then I have Justice, which is interesting, that's your card. Okay, the High Priestess, wow, three major arcana so far. The Two of Cups in the reverse position, the Hierophant, four major arcana. The uh, Six of Swords in the reverse, the Ten of cups in the reverse, the knight of, of swords in the reverse position, and the judgment card upright. Okay, I think that should be sufficient. We do have, um, we do end with two cards in the upright position. Wow, so this is going to be a very, very powerful month. We have one, two, three, four, five. So five, yeah, five major arcana cards. So it is going to be a very potent month. And, um, let me see here how these energies will play out. Okay, for a lot of you, um, for a lot of Libras, what I do sense is there is going to be um, situations in which you're dealing with people in um, positions of authority, okay? All the people in authority, though, are in the upright position. So um, what I do sense here is that um, a lot of you might be going ahead with, like, um, divorces. A lot of you might be in uh, court situations. I feel, though, that um, if you're in a court situation, things will be in ruled in your favor. And at the same time, if you have children, you might have to um, deal with, like, they're the principals, your 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 kids might be have like trouble at school. What I sense is like um, fighting arguments at school. Okay, where you actually have to not just a with a counselor or a teacher, but you're dealing with like the head of an institution, especially like a school. So you're dealing with the vice principal or the principal or someone in a very high uh, position of power. Um, so that's coming in for those of you with children, that situation might happen in which, you know, um, there's something revolving your child. And I do feel with the Knight of Swords in the reverse position, it does indicate a little bit of conflict. And it might escalate to like a physical altercation with somebody. And um, I feel very strongly though, you know, just um, be really careful. You know, just try to stay on top of the kids and... Um, Try to make sure they're okay. I feel that they are going to be okay because the people in authority are in all in the upright position. For those of you to whom I, I feel a little bit of a um, an identity crisis regarding religion as well with the Hierophant and the High Priestess are all both in the uh, upright position though. So what I do sense is um, a lot of you might take a different approach when it comes to religious practice or even like um, spirituality. So for example, what I sense here is um, you might be in a family situation in which, you know, um, cultural, even cultural and religious practices, because those can often be linked together. Cultural and re religious practices might be in discordance. So you and your spouse might have trouble over how to raise the child that um, you have between the two of you. So there might be like uh, religious differences coming into play, which might disrupt the dynamic of the household, okay? And at the same time, for those of you who are getting married as well, what I do sense is like um, the parents, like in-laws from both sides are not in accordance with one another. And at the same time, like the uh, religious and the cultural divide might test the strength of your love and um, you might not be entirely thrilled with this. Like, you know that um, you really love the other person and you want to devote your life and, you know, spend the rest of your life with them. But what I do sense is um, it's difficult to bridge that gap. So you might decide to, um, you know, break up or... The advice here that I'm sensing is, you know, just don't jump the gun in this situation because I don't feel that um, you're going to do it in the healthiest of manner. So try to hold back if it is uh, just a, you know, depending on your religious beliefs and upbringing, okay, this might... Um, this might like have a lot of weight on a lot of you in terms of like religious um, practices and you might place a lot of emphasis on that and you might choose a romantic partner or marriage partner based on that. 
for those of you that are dealing with situations like this, I would definitely say, you know, don't jump the gun, don't rush into this too fast, and especially don't decide on this just yet, okay? You do still have a lot of um, insights that will actually, in, a lot more information will come to light, and I feel in general, you have to look at the bigger picture, okay? With the Hermit card as your crowning energy, what I do sense is that, um, He's shining light on this entire situation. So I feel that um, you are only a small fraction of this situation that is playing out around you. And you have only one perspective. So it's very important to um, give like president uh, to give um, to give value to the other party's point of view. Because I, I do feel that it is a difference in opinion. But no one is in the wrong here. Okay, Everyone is in the upright position. Everyone is trying their best to reach a compromise and to find a workable solution. Um, it's just difficult because the people involved are so like... Um, their belief systems are so ingrained that it's really hard to change anybody's perspective. But the good news is, at least, you know, the, um, the silver lining is that everyone here is trying to find a solution. Okay, so no one is against anybody here. So, um, and everyone is approaching this in a very high-minded manner, which is good. And at the end of the month, we have the Judgment card, which is a really good card. It does indicate, like, um, a new beginning happening. And it's also, like, a, a situation in which everyone... It's, it's a card of unity. And I feel that, um, you know, in the human experience, we do have a lot of things that we don't always agree on. And especially as humans, we try to assert our own beliefs, assert ourselves. And we step on one another's toes. But in the end of it all, nothing really matters. We're all humans and we all want the same things from life. And everyone in your midst that you, if you've been dealing with a situation that is like this, everyone wants the best. Um, everyone is in a you know, it's trying to find that best solution to appease the characters involved in this situation, okay? And I feel that a resolution is going to come in order that will satisfy everyone involved. So, in general, um, the only rough thing I would say about this month is um, if there are differences in opinion in which you can't find a resolution for, it's not going to come about until the end of the month. So, take consolation in that. At the same time, I do feel that... Um, this is a situation here in which, you know, I, I wouldn't say it's a moving on um, because I feel that this hasn't run its course yet. So it does require that um, towards the this even the third and the fourth week of this month, you're going to feel really burned out and you're going to feel like very tired and you don't really want to work at this anymore. But I would suggest you to go back and redo it. Go back and try to resolve this conflict and, you know, even if it can't be salvaged, at least find a resolution so that you can move on on good terms, okay? Because I do feel that um, these are significant relationships in your life, so it's important to reach a very uh, comfortable resolution so that you don't end up, you know, resentful and angry and bitter with one another where you can't even talk. If there are children involved in the picture too, I feel that, you know, it's going to hurt the kids more than anything else. So really try to work this through because the other party is is willing it's just really difficult to see things from the other party's point of view mainly because everyone is very fixed in their opinions as well okay so i know libras are um very good at compromising the other party you might feel that they're being a little obstinate and stubborn and not being receptive to what you have to say but i would advise you to like um to to revise the way you're looking at the other party because I feel that there can be a very peaceful and calm and satisfying um, resolution that can result from this if you go back and try to work things out in a different way, okay? So changing the perspective is greatly indicated by the hermit and it's basically um, taking some time off to get more clarity and the hermit is on top and I, I i really enjoy looking at this card it's the card of virgo and virgos uh, as an earth sign is quite detached and quite analytical so this is a situation in which you know you're too emotionally invested 
in the situation, in the other person, in your own beliefs, and in the environment itself. You're too invested in the outcome where you are basically kind of like blocked from seeing the whole picture, okay? So uh, don't go into situations with an agenda. Be open-minded and come in there with the spirit of resolution, okay? And I feel that you're going to be very successful because your card is coming up in the upright position. It might be the other party that is stubborn that you're dealing with here. And this is the card of Taurus, very stubborn Taurus. But um, they have good intentions, you know. They, they do want to see things. Um, they do want to resolve things and they do want to compromise. It's just they feel that um, they they feel a little like attacked and they feel a little um, victimized, like because uh, it's really difficult to um, change the opinion of an earth sign. Okay, you have two here. So for those of you dealing with an earth sign. Um, Taurus, Virgo, or Capricorn. Capricorn is not showing up here, but I strongly sense that is a Taurus situation, like a Taurus person. For those of you who are dealing with um, that type of energy, what I would say is the Taurus is very interested in... Um, he or she really wants to make this work, but um, let me see here. But they don't really know how to approach this because they feel that it's going to require such a deep fundamental change in their perspective and in their um, ideology that they don't, they're don't. they afraid of it. They don't really know how. So as a defense mechanism, they're kind of like blocking you off and blocking off your efforts. And what I do sense here is as well. There is a reason in the voice of wisdom, but um, the nature of earth signs is that, you know, especially for this card, they, he does take a back seat and he has a lot of insight, but these people are, are like um, arguing amongst themselves that they're, they just want to be heard rather than, um, you know, seeking the right source for advice is what I'm sensing. And I feel very strongly too, this is indicative of like a uh, child rearing religious practices or you know like um, raising a child a certain way like philosophical ideas beliefs about child rearing I feel very strongly with this spread okay mainly because we have let's see this is um, you know indicative of um, potential birth to even though it is in the reverse position what I do sense is like a falling out between people based on child rearing practices this is a falling out between a marriage partnership based on the um, the parenting t styles okay so what I would say is in general if you're dealing with this situation okay there is a person here that actually has very good insight and this person is not being heard and in I don't feel anyone is like um, anyone involved here is like humble enough to ask the expert what they think, and this is what I'm I'm using as the expert, mainly because he has that light, and he has like um, he shines light in a dark situation. He's like the guiding light in a very confusing, in a very convoluted. Um, situation between people who are not seeing outside of themselves so um, go to the source go to the expert because the expert is there waiting for you and waiting for the opportunity for you to uh, come see them and um, I just want to say additionally what I do sense here it is a uh, yeah related to like children if you have like a, a young child or a young adult that is going through counseling um, try not to patronize this child, okay? So if there's somebody in your midst or you yourself have to go through counseling, then you know what it, it, it's like to have to see a counselor and have to, like, bear your soul. And then those around you might think that you have, you know, problems, that you're not able to take care of yourself, mainly because of the stigma associated with, you know, someone going to see a therapist, Okay. There's nothing wrong with that. Everyone needs, you know, guidance and help in the right direction. So um, for those of you who are dealing with somebody who is cl very close to you and who is going through counseling, um, treat it as, you know, any type of a health issue. 
you know, for example, if you have like, um, I don't know, if you have a, a, a sprain, then you would see a doctor. If you need a quick mental health fix, you would see a therapist. There's nothing wrong with that. People need to, to take care of things so that they get better. So don't treat them with kitty gloves. Don't patronize them. I feel that they're going to be a little more insulted. Um, and it's going to re make it really difficult for them to open up to you in the future if they feel like um, that you're being too patronizing, okay? I don't think it's going to be a big issue because you're in the upright position, but I do feel that everyone in the environment is just like, okay, very hands-off. It's just like they're like walking on eggshells when it comes to that one person that is going through like therapy. Um, so yeah, just be careful about that. But in general, everything has a very good resolution by the end of this month, okay? So that aside, I feel that I've exhausted <laughs> those possibilities. Just the um, There's a lot of information. But um, I do feel mainly it is related to children, okay? So um, for those of you who have like family situations too, like a therapy would be the ideal thing to do if you have like relationship problems or if you have problems related to children in your family and you don't know how to resolve them. Um, try to seek a counselor, and I do feel that um, an outsider's perspective, like an expert, not just random outsiders, but like an an expert's um, unbiased opinion would be very beneficial and would shed light on a lot of the things that are you, that you're not aware of in you know in mending the relationships. Okay, so it's going to be a very transformative month. So I would advise you to seek um, seek the proper guidance from a specialist to help with your relationships, okay? And um, I always advise clients to, um, if you're in a marriage situation or if you're long in a long-term committed relationship, and, um, you know, as a last resort, go see a counselor if you feel that it can be salvaged because most relationships can. And counselors, like a relationship therapist, they can teach you, you know, coping mechanism, like coping skills so that you can learn to better relate to one another. Because we're all different people. We relate in different ways and sometimes the energies don't jive and there's nothing wrong with that. But in order to salvage any type of relationship, you have to get to the root of the matter and you have to learn to communicate in an, an effective way. So if you're like very um, different from your partner culturally, you know, ethnically, linguistically, even, I don't know, if you're very different from your partner, things can still work out. It's just a matter of opening the right channel and learning the right coping skills in order to deal with one another's quirks and habits, okay? So that is like, you know, I think it's a good advice to do it. Seek a specialist, seek an outsider's perspective, especially a specialist via employer, would be very beneficial for you because I do feel new opportunities might open up. And then um, by going back there, I feel like a self-imposed sense of isolation, okay? And he's happy with it. So um, you're... <clears throat> I used this metaphor before for Virgo, but um, I don't feel it's appropriate to use for Libra, mainly because Libra is an air sign, and um, you like social relationships, so it's, it wouldn't be appropriate. But what I do sense is um, a sense of like self-imposed isolation. You really want the abundance in the world. You really want the abundance in all your social relationships and, you know, in establishing them, getting out there and having fun. And then you encounter all these pro not that you encounter these problems because you're still, you know, you're still isolated from the experience. But, um, okay, so let me restart and rephrase. So what I mean is, um, for those of you who are single and you are like trying to date again, what I do sense is that, um, you're you're like about to step out of your isolation and then you your friends or your families or the people around you come to you with all these issues and you're just like okay maybe i'm better off on my own because of all these issues i don't really want to go through it so it could be that type of situation for you okay which there's nothing wrong with that but um don't stay stuck there in isolation for too long okay because i feel that um you are ready and for ver single aquar um sorry single libras this is you here as well and it is you are showing up here in the um reverse position. So this is you or another air sign that you're potentially dealing with, but I do sense since it is a sword energy, this is an air sign and this is you. 
you're um you're jumping the gun a little bit you're like um it's sort of like you are here in the forefront and then you're jumping the gun because you feel like you know what is the best solution and you really want to push everyone in the right direction to streamline this process to reach a resolution and i would say you know try to hold off on that mainly because things have to unravel on their own time and you're dealing with a lot of really stubborn people so people need their time and their space afraid about compromises and especially the people around you to be very patient in dealing with them and don't push for a resolution too soon when the other parties are not prepared, are not yet uh, ready. All right, so overall, I hope you have a wonderful April. I will try to come back next week for the weekly reading. And um, please let me know how this plays out for you too. I'm actually very curious about, you know, the therapy situation. So um, I will see you uh, next week for the weekly reading. Thanks so much for watching.